Hello guys, this video will deal with general histology as many of you have commented for the histology video and also this you may not found in many books regarding the histology the epithelium found in different uh, body parts and the specifically the important ones regarding neat PG so starting the oral portion of epiglottis lined by stratified squamous epithelium the thyroid follicles are normally lined by cuboidal epithelium while there is a twist they become columnar when stimulated and squamous when inactive now the urethra the male urethra contains transitional epithelium in fact only the prostatic portion of male urethra contains the transitional epithelium as you will be traditionally reading that urethra contains transitional epithelium but the prostatic portion of male urethra contains the transitional epithelium while stratified squamous epithelium lines most of the female urethra and distal end of cavernous urethra in males while the membranous urethra is lined by stratified columnar epithelium so do remember these two points and do not confuse between them another important point to emphasize here is that the vagina lacks glands so how it get lubricated it get lubricated by the secretions from its cervical glands it is lined by stratified squamous non keratinizing epithelium with cells that release glycogen the olfactory epithelium or the neuroepithelium possesses non motile cilia which act as a receptor for odor they are in fact direct extension of the bipolar nerve cells that forms part of this tall pseudo stratified epithelium located in the roof of nasal cavity terminal bronchioles are lined by epithelium composed of two cells namely the secretory and the ciliated cells secretory cells are also called clara cells cartilage is not a component of bronchioles mucus neck cells are located in the neck of gastric gland and they are present in all parts of the stomach while the chief or the gymogen cells are present mostly at the fundus of the gastric glands and mostly at fundus part of the stomach also pericytes are pluripotential stem cells that resembles fibroblast although they are adjacent to capillaries hyaline cartilage is avascular and contains type 2 collagen it is important one hyaline cartilage contains type 2 collagen it is located at the articulating ends of long bone elastic cartilage also called yellow cartilage is present in outer ear station tube and epiglottis that is 3 e's intervertebral disc is an example of fibrocartilage galt gut associated lymphoid tissue is present in the lamina propria of mucosa aims question they ask many question from the gall tissue hasses corpuscles are concentric secretions of epithelial reticular cells found only in medulla of the thymus so hasses corpuscles are present in the medulla of the thymus Langerhans cells in the epidermis function as antigen presenting cells 
by trapping antigen that penetrate epidermis and transporting them to regional lymph nodes where they presented to T lymphocytes. They originate in bone marrow and do not arise from the epithelium. They are present in epithelium that is epidermis but they arise from the bone marrow and not from epithelium. The cardiac muscle cells are joined by end to end by unique junction called intercalated disc. The prostate gland has fibromuscular stroma. Also one additional point you must know is that the gap junctions permit cell to cell communication via connexin channels. The bullous pampigoid is an autoimmune disease having antibodies against their own hemidesmosome. So this is the part 1. I will try to continue the embryology in part 2 also. So all the best for your exams. Stay focused. Stay motivated. Thank you.